Hi everybody, it's Jamie and it's day 25. I'm out on a walk and enjoying the sun and I've been contemplating to myself um, what within me, and I invite you to look for the same, but what within me feels inadequate to receive love and what in me thinks it needs to be anything other than the way I am to receive love. Old patterns and programs or old images and pictures that I think I need to have some kind of self-fulfilling prophecy in order to be ready or more perfect or more available for love. So I'm going to invite all of us to really look at these things today. Is there something you're judging about yourself? Is it your hair? I know I have stringy hair. I totally know that. I'm just making peace with it. You know, we got to love what we got. And uh, is it our weight? Is it um, what we're feeling about our age? Are we feeling self-conscious in our career or lack of careers? Where are we feeling inadequate? Do we feel we don't measure up to our maid or to the person that we love, that they're somehow better than us? Um, walking in the sun here, sorry. But what is it? What is it that may be holding distortions of love for you? So please look at this in your own life today. Where are you feeling inadequate? I'm looking at that in mine. What doesn't feel enough? What's got to measure up? What's got to somehow have an image it wants to hold up? So let's take all of that in our hands, bring it to our heart, and offer it up to Holy Spirit. Beautiful light of Holy Spirit. Great light. So, um, I ask you this. This is important. We have the holidays coming, and this is a time where we can really fill ourselves up with tremendous love. But we've got to identify what in us wants love. And a lot of it, guarantee, is sitting below the surface. So this is why we have to invite it up. Do your prayers and your invocation to let all within you that feels inadequate or unworthy of love in any way to come forward. And probably whatever that is we feel inadequate about, take a look in your life. Are you judging others in that same area? Because life will mirror to us what it is we need to face. Ah, it's more chance for more love, patience, compassion, and tolerance. And it may be easier to give it to the other person, but I'm asking you today, identify it. Bring your self-love for your perceived inadequacies and understand your innate beingness is absolutely adorable and brilliant. Everything about your life is the evolutionary fodder that your soul needs for its growth in this incarnation. Your weight, your hair, your size, your relationships, maybe some of them are karmic. Take a look at that. That's another topic. That's a whole other series. But we want to offer love to everything and everyone so we can stop the cycle of the repetition of habits and patterns that are playing. Whether it's karmic or whether it's in this life, this life is going to boost karmas. Or whether it's something we just created today with a thought or with a word that went out. Pull it back in and bring love to it, starting from within. Okay? Look for your perceived inadequacies. Remind yourself of your beautiful magnificence, that you are a beautiful snowflake of God. And celebrate that. Bring yourself love and take those self-doubts, insecurities, and fears up to the holy altar of God to pure source light for healing. So namaste, dear ones. I will talk to you tomorrow. Go to your altars. Take this one on. Be ready for the holidays to fill up. Fill up with more love.